Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you guys the process of the restoration and creation of the suspension system on my Emotion V10. I will also show you guys a few videos of me riding it when the suspension is in action. When I bought it, it was completely taped up, and when I removed the tape, it was even worse. As a hobby, I love inventing new things, and I saw the potential in this wheel, so a new project was born. I started with the top caps and the bumpers which I screwed on from the side. These parts took me the longest to create by far. Getting the round shapes just right was a hell to model. After that, I went on with the suspension. Every side has its own module that is attached with three screws at the top and the big bolt through the original pedal holder at the bottom, which absorbs almost all of the weight when standing on it. It works by having two aluminium sliders in the red T-slots with a strong spring in the middle. Here you can see the inner workings of the assembled system. I created a grease compartment for every aluminium slider, where it will dip in from below and pull the grease slightly down through the moving parts to keep everything lubricated and operate smoothly. At last, I sewed the leather cover for the foam lead protectors and put them on a cover which is attached to the system with magnets. Let's get to the good part. Here you see me riding in the forest and I gotta admit I live in the Netherlands and the Netherlands is one of the most flat countries in the world uh, so finding a suitable place to ride which really shows off the suspension was kinda hard. Also my experience with driving it is uh, almost zero because I had it apart in my attic for almost three months while I was recreating it. So. I found a good place uh, which is a little bumpy and I tried to ride over it as fast as I could without falling down. I look like I wear no protection but I wear a helmet and a motorcycle vest. I only did not have any knee pads so yeah, that's my own fault. That's why I did a little careful and I wasn't stunting too much. Uh, here on this video, honestly, it's kind of hard to see how the suspension works. I have got some slow motion video at the end which will show it much better. But still, you have to take my word for it, it's way more comfortable to ride it than without suspension. I did take it out on the open road when I bought it in the very beginning, I drove over some bumps, I drove over some holes, and then you really feel the impact on your knees. And with the suspension that's way way less, so that's a good thing. Okay, so now let's go to the slow motion videos. I've picked some clips and I slowed them down to 20%. So you can really see the spring in action. What you will see is you will see the system drop down like two or three centimeters at a time with the bumps I take. I think when you are there level and you will take some bigger jumps, like real airborne jumps, then you might even get to eight centimeters, which is the maximum it will drop down according to the specifications of the springs. All right, this was my uh, video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I am thinking about putting the STL files for sale on Etsy. I am not really sure how to put the suspension system on there as you will also need to buy a lot of very specific parts to make everything fit. But I will think about that in the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned.